School is officially out for summer. And while it may seem easy to just lay in bed and endlessly scroll through TikTok, there are so many entertaining things that you could be doing instead. In fact, here are over 100 ideas of things that you can do to make this summer the best one ever. Guys, it is Karen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello there. My name is Karen and I make new content every single week for you guys. So you should definitely hit that subscribe button down there so that you do not miss out on all of my brand new videos and shorts every single week. As most of you guys probably already know, it is officially or almost officially summer and everyone is finishing up their school years and taking final exams and all that fun stuff that comes with the end of the school year. So I thought that it would be a fun video idea for me to put together a list of over 100 things that you guys can do this summer that aren't just like scrolling on your phone or walking your dog and all those like basic things that get really repetitive after a while. So these ideas will cure your boredom and they're also not expensive at all. So it's just a win-win. All these ideas are great and amazing and you should definitely try them out. Let me just stop talking and let's just get right into it. The first thing that you guys should definitely do this summer is make a scrapbook with all of your memories from the past year. This scrapbook could be all of your high school memories or it could be all of your college memories or even just like your eighth grade scrapbook and you have like your report card and pictures with your friends and like your ticket to the dance and stuff like that. Number two, write a letter to your future self that you can open in a few years. It could be five years from now, one year from now, it doesn't matter, but you could just write yourself a short little letter and put it in envelope and then set a day you could set a reminder on your phone and you could open it and you could just see what you were up to in the past number three watch Netflix in alphabetical order you could do this for any streaming service so this means you go from A to Z and then you watch a show for A B C D and so forth. So if you wanted to do this with like Disney Plus, you could start with A and you could do Aladdin and then B, you could do Beauty and the Beast and then you would just go on all the way through the alphabet and you could do it for Netflix as well. Number four is specifically for college students and it is to write your Rate My Professor reviews from this past year. Number five is find a new podcast. This has been my thing recently within the past month. I started listening to Anything Goes, which is Emma Chamberlain's podcast and I really have been enjoying it. It's like the first podcast that I've ever listened to in my entire life. Number six, clean out your camera roll, your notes, your emails, like your school Google Docs. I feel like after a while it gets kind of cluttery and you just have a ton of like random pictures and spam emails and stuff like that. So definitely go through and delete that because it not only makes everything more organized, but it also gives you more space and storage. Number seven, redo your wallpaper or your lock screen on your iPhone. I have a whole entire video on this on my channel. I'm gonna pop it up and it was with one of the latest iOS updates and they have so many cool new things that you can do if you have an iPhone and that would be something honestly you could take like half of a day and do that if you really want to get creative with it. Number eight is to make an Amazon wish list with all of the things that you will want. You don't have to necessarily buy them but you can make it and then you could save it for like your birthday or for Christmas or any holidays or celebrations that are coming up and you could give it to your siblings and your friends and family. Whenever they want to know like what do you want for your birthday you'll have that Amazon wish list already prepared. Number nine, play your favorite childhood games. This one I definitely want to do this summer, especially with Toontown and Club Penguin. They have all those like rewritten websites where you can go and play them again. Number 10, look through your parents' old yearbooks from high school, or you could even look through your own yearbooks, maybe from elementary school and past years. Number 11 is to back up your old family photos or old family videos to like a cloud. So it could either be to iCloud or something like Google Photos where you like pay to keep it stored. Number 12, make homemade popsicles. I used to love to do this as a child with my sister. We would freeze apple juice and then we'd wait a few hours and then it would just be like a popsicle with apple juice and it was pretty good. Number 13, have a water balloon fight. This kind of goes along with that, but number 14 is to set up a sprinkler. This is just like a really inexpensive way to still have fun with water. Like even if you don't have a pool, it's 
still really fun and entertaining. I'm sure I would be entertained with the sprinkler. Number 15, get dressed up and take Instagram photos. Number 16, visit a local farmer's market. This is a lot of fun. I've been wanting to do this recently. Number 17, literally just learn more about the topics that interest you or like the careers that interest you, especially if like you're about to enter college or you're in college already. This is like the perfect time to like do some research about just things that interest you and find out more about yourself and about topics as well. Number 18, do crossword puzzles or just like a regular puzzle, like a jigsaw puzzle. Number 19 is to go play laser tag. This one does cost money, but I don't think it should be that expensive, especially if you only do like one game and maybe you could like split it with your friends. Number 20, take up photography. Just go take pictures of nature and stuff like that. You may find it way more fun than you thought it would be. Number 21, make homemade pizzas. You could have like a pizza night with your siblings or your friends, your parents. Number 22, have a karaoke night. You could like do this the same night that you have your pizza night. You can make pizza and then have karaoke night. Number 23 is color. Go to Dollar Tree, buy a coloring book and some crayons and color. Number 24, draw outside with sidewalk chalk. Number 25, draw your own comic book. This one is really fun if you're artsy or really crafty and you're a really good artist. Number 26, try on old clothes that are in your closet. And I'm not just saying like your old wardrobe from eighth grade year. I'm saying like maybe your prom dresses or your homecoming dresses from years past. That's just so much fun to like try on or even just look at them and like recall those memories. Number 27 is start a book or a movie club with your friends or your family. Like literally you could just watch like a movie each week and then you could like talk about it together or like same thing with a book if you're really into reading. Number 28, go to the zoo. This one also costs money but a lot of like those zoo memberships, especially if you're a student, if you just buy like a ticket, they're normally not that expensive. Expensive. Number 29, go hiking. Number 30, make coffee drinks that you find on TikTok. And you can get like a cute little cup and just make iced coffees and lattes and stuff like that. This kind of goes along with it. Number 31 is to make new recipes. You can also find these on TikTok. One of the most popular ones is Gigi Hadid's like vodka pasta, I think it was called. And that recipe always looked really good and I've always wanted to try it. Number 32, go to the mall. This is kind of boring and basic. Number 33, this one is specifically for if you live near a beach, you could just drive up to the beach for the day and you don't have to like spend money on a hotel room or anything like that. Number 34, have a movie night. Number 35, start gardening. Number 36, try to do origami. I could never do that, but it's literally beautiful. Number 37, make it a goal to go walking each night. Like go for a 20 minute walk outside in your neighborhood. Number 38, go bike riding if you own a bike. Number 39, make dinner for your family. Like completely on your own, tell your family that you're gonna make dinner one night and then do it and make a fun recipe and see what people think of your cooking. Number 40, play tennis or golf. Just like any fun summer sport. Number 41, make lemonade. I mean, you could also have like a lemonade stand, but do whatever suits you. Number 42, organize your kitchen. Throw away like old expired food that you may have. Keep it organized. Number 43, learn a new language. So like you could learn like French, Spanish, or you could also learn like sign language. Number 44, go stargazing. Literally just sit outside and look at the stars. Number 45, this kind of goes along with that. Have a sleepover outside. Number 46, play the Wii or play like the PlayStation. Any like old video games that you have, like Just Dance and Mario Kart. Those will literally just like bring back so many memories. Number 47, board games or card games. Number 48, go to your local park. Number 49, clean out your closet or your room. Just go through your closet, see stuff that you don't really want anymore, and you can make an account on either Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, stuff like that, and you could earn some money while at the same time decluttering your room. Number 50 also goes along with this. You can clean out your purses if you own a lot of purses or backpacks. Number 51 is specifically for school. You can empty out and clean out your backpack. Get rid of like old notebooks and textbooks. Number 52 is to rearrange your room. So you could like move your vanity to that corner and move your bed to this corner. Just have fun with it. Number 53, make bracelets. This could be friendship bracelets. It could be a bracelet for your mom, your boyfriend. Beads are literally so cheap. You can get like a bead kit on Amazon. Number 54, try out new workouts. My best friend and I have been talking about going to like a bar class or doing like Pilates. Number 55 goes along with that. Do yoga or meditation. Number 56, scroll through Pinterest and look for cute aesthetics or new styles that you may want to try out. Number 57, watch the sunrise. 
Not many people do this. And number 58 is to watch the sunset. This one's a little bit easier because you're probably already awake. But if you think about it, a lot of sunsets go by and we don't really watch them and really consciously appreciate them. Number 59, read books that you haven't been able to read throughout the year. There's probably some sort of book that you've seen on TikTok that it's popular and you want to check it out. Number 60, appreciate new music. Number 61, take a long bath. I mean, you deserve it after this year. Just go in your bathroom and put some bubble bath in the bathtub and just sit in there for 45 minutes. Number 62, this one's great. Probably one of the things that I'm going to be doing very often this summer. Just take a nap. Number 63, bake a cake, bake cupcakes, cake pops. Bake. Number 64, buy a goldfish. This one's really inexpensive. I mean, I've seen goldfish at Walmart and they're like $2. Number 65, tan outside. You could just go sit under the sun, but don't like get a sunburn. Just put some sunscreen on and then go tan for a little bit. Number 66, go to a cute coffee shop. Number 67, dance around your room to your favorite music. People don't do this that often and it's really fun and it's really therapeutic. Number 68, spend some quality time with your parents or your grandparents. Maybe people that you like don't see that often throughout the school year. Number 69, enter giveaways. There are tons of giveaways on like Instagram and TikTok that I see all the time. And even though you have a very slim chance of winning, it's still really fun to enter and hey, you do have a shot. Number 70, this one's great. Just go get dessert. Go to Sonic, get a hot fudge sundae, get a blast. Number 71 is so random. Play, it's called Akinator. I used to play it all the time in middle school with my friends. Basically Basically, you just think of a character like Mickey Mouse and then like this guy asks you questions and like you see if he can guess whatever character you're thinking of. I used to think it was the coolest thing and like the creepiest thing when I was little. Number 72, create your own board game. Number 73, sanitize your refrigerator. Go through and like clean it out, like take everything out, wipe it down, and then put everything back in just to make sure everything's clean. Number 74, learn how to make pottery. Pottery is just really beautiful. Number 75, this is just a bunch of stuff to like learn how to do. Learn how to knit or sew, that's really useful. Number 76, learn how to do calligraphy. Number 77, try out new hairstyles. If you want to learn how to like French braid or Dutch braid, you've always wanted to, watch like YouTube videos and learn how to do it. Number 78, Start a YouTube channel. You could just make fun little videos or if like you're more into shorter content You could start a TikTok. Number 79 start a collection. I don't even I can't even think of anything to collect Just start a collection. Number 80 plan a picnic but You could just like make a sandwich and go on a picnic with your best friends. Number 81 take online tests we always have those like quizzes on BuzzFeed that you can take and like find out what character you are from your favorite movie or like see your IQ or whatever. Just find fun little quizzes and take them. Number 82, look at cute room decor or house decor on Etsy. Etsy is one of my favorite websites for like looking for room decor. This is from Etsy behind me. This little dream catcher that's right there is also from Etsy. Number 83, write a song. I mean, you don't have to publish it or anything or like really finish it. Number 84, create summer playlists. Number 85, have a spa day or a self-care day. This is definitely needed after this year. Wash your hair, paint your fingernails, do really good skincare, maybe like a face mask, moisturize, stuff like that. Number 86 is for if you're still in school. You could apply for scholarships, maybe for college, or you could apply for internships if you're already in college. Number 87, it also goes along with school. These next ones kind of do. It is to write your resume. The summer like the perfect time to like get like the basic format for your resume and then you could just add on to it throughout the years. Number 88, create your own website. This is another really useful one for school, especially if you're looking to start like a job soon. Number 89 is so boring and I'm sorry that I'm even saying this, but it is to get ahead in your classes a little bit. If you know that you're taking super tough courses next semester, you could just start planning ahead for them, looking through notes and YouTube videos just to get a little bit of a head start. Number 90 is to set new goals for yourself for the next school year. So if it's like your senior year of high school, write like a little bucket list that you want to do before the end of the year. Number 91 is a little bit deeper. It's just to like write down your goals for your life. It's really deep and it's a lot to think about, but you could kind of think ahead a little bit and think, hmm, what do I want to do with my life? 
Number 92, start a gratitude journal or just start journaling in general. Number 93, learn how to play an instrument. Number 94, pull an all-nighter. I mean, no summer is a real summer without pulling at least one all-nighter. You have to. Number 95, go thrift shopping. And you can do like a fun little challenge where you can see how many things you can get from the thrift shop with just like a $20 bill. Number 96, make slime. This was a trend back in 2016, 2017, and everyone literally went crazy for it on Musical.ly, but maybe you can see if you can still make it. Number 97, paint something. Number 98, make root beer floats or also like Dr. Pepper floats. Number 99, write a short story or a short film or a movie, anything like that. Number 100, reconnect with old friends. This is the perfect time to like text your high school friends, elementary school friends, people that moved far away. You could just see how they were doing and see if they want to meet up during the summer. And last but certainly not least, number 101 is to make a keepsake box with all of your memories from summer 2023. I feel like this would be such a fun idea. I've never done this before, but I think it would be so, so cool to be able to have a little box that has like a few things. Like if you went to a concert, you could have like your tickets. You could have postcards from the places you visited if you traveled or went on vacation. You could have just various photos that you took and you could print them out off your phone. And you could just keep all that in like a tiny box and you could keep doing it every summer and then you'll have something to look back on. And whenever you look at this box, you'll remember that you made summer 2023 the best summer ever. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed these suggestions suggestions and these 100 plus ideas for you guys to do this summer. I hope that they're not basic and I hope that they help you kind of cure your boredom. I hope you guys have literally the best summer ever. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and also again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there so that you do not miss out on all of my brand new videos and content. It's always such a fun time here on this channel so definitely hit that subscribe button down there so that you do not miss out. And I think that's about it you guys. I will see you in next week's video. Bye, guys. It was you all alone that kept me safe from danger.